Hi, I'm Lorena and I'm ready to do my next tutorial and this tutorial is going to be on pinwheels. I have my dog in my arms because I couldn't get her to be quiet while I was trying to do these videos. So uh, her name is Lily so she's going to be part of this uh, tutorial today. So pinwheels, one of the things that is really neat about pinwheels is you use your leftover scrap fabric. Um, all you need is four half square triangles of any size. Um, you can do them four inch, three inch half square triangles, even one inch half square triangles to make these pinwheels. And so let me show you what a pinwheel looks like. So this is what a pinwheel looks like. They're a little bit small, but what I like about them is that you can use them as corner sets on, the, on your quilt top. And you can use them also to bring your sashing together. I like them because it also adds new interest to your quilt when you're when you're done with your top. It does something different to the eye, especially when you have already a very intricate piece. It gives more design to it. So I hope you like this tutorial of pinwheels and I hope you have a great day. I have a whole bunch of scraps of three and a half half inch half square triangles and um, one of the things I recommend when you're picking your colors out to make a pinwheel is that you use a dark and a light. It, like you'll hear, this is very light coloring and the pinwheel is the darker fabric. So pick colors that have a light tone and a dark tone in, in the half square triangle. So, so we're going to go ahead and from left to right roll our pieces over. And you know I like to pin, but you don't have to. Sometimes you'll get to a point where you become so proficient in a, in a skill to where you don't pin at all. And just pin them and you're ready to sew. So we'll go into the machine. So now I have my piece to the machine and it's... Um, Make sure you remove your pin from your needle. I've seen videos where people have a pin in their eye. <laughs> um. And so I have my pieces sewn. Here. I so I have my pieces already sewn. And what you can do is you can iron them, which I recommend. I tend to do my pin was. Did I do right? I tend to do my pin was better when I iron everything. So let me get my iron out. So we're going to go ahead and iron our sewn fabric. Remember we go one direction on one fabric and we go the opposite direction on the next fabric. And we open and make sure that that seam is nice and and uh, and tight. So the pinwheel goes this way, and this is our pinwheel. Okay, so I have my pieces already ironed, and I'm gonna go ahead and roll it over and make sure that my seam lines make a straight line. I go ahead and pin it and I roll it over <clears throat> and I try to make sure that the top of this little triangle area and this triangle are like right on top of each other so that when I'm sewing I don't miss um, the point on the back fabric. So now to the sewing machine. And so, here's my pinwheel. And if you look at it, you can see all my points are, are right there. Now we're going to the ironing board. Now if you feel right here, there's a tremendous amount of uh, bulk. What you can do 
is you can cut not to the thread line but right to the edge of it make a little tiny cut and do the same thing and you don't touch the thread at all then you open it and you can rub this open And you just mush it down. And there's your beautiful pinwheel. It's all made out of scraps, too. Have a great day. That's adorable. We should turn. Stop licking me. Stop. Stop kissing me.